Today we're going to look at the cockpit sonic motorized throttle quadrant and why I chose this one and not one of the competitors on the market. When choosing the throttle, I had mainly two things in mind. One is functionality and the other one is the price. For functionality, I mean motorized. If, it, if I had to buy a non-motorized throttle, I would then just skip uh, the one I had from SciTech. That one there. Instead, I wanted something that has the toga function that works uh, automatically and I, I don't have to constantly uh, adjust the throttle level every time basically I, I have to change something in the MCP for a price obviously I wasn't expecting something free but at the same time I just really didn't want to uh, buy something that it was going to cost me something like 4,000 euros or, or dollars I think that the price for this product I mean, the quality that you're getting is, a, is actually a very good match. Now, the throttle itself looks really sturdy, not at all plasticky. Uh, it is made mostly of metal. I mean, there are few things in plastic, which is obviously understandable. But, but for the rest, it's really a metal throttle and it really feels strong. Uh, of course, like everything else, you need to take care. You can't just go like an animal on it. But I, everything seems just really well built. From the installation perspective, the installation is very is very easy. Now that has given you intent to follow the instructions on the manual. Uh, if then you're like me, you think that you can just plug this in and you're ready to go, you might have a bit of a problem. Uh, I bought this throttle from from the Netherlands at the aviation mega store. Uh, the people over there they're amazing. They basically took this out of the box, they plugged it in, they showed it. First of all, they showed that it works, but they showed the step by step installation of every single file. Uh, that just gave me allowed me to take some notes, but also they gave me a fully documented uh, information and step by step on how you have to do everything. So from a, an, uh, an installation perspective, it's pretty easy. First of all, you want to make sure that uh, uh, that you have all of the files that you need, all of the softwares. The first one is a, so. The first thing is you plug in the uh, power cable and then the USB. The computer will automatically recognize the throttle. Once you do that, you make sure that you go into device and printers, and you make sure that the throttle is there so that you can see it. At that point, you see that the computer is happy with it and can recognize it. Then you install a, a test software, which can be downloaded from the website of the, of the throttle. And that's just needed to make sure that every, uh, all the lever are working. Uh, and uh, as you can see here, as I'm playing the flaps also work. Um, so basically that just makes sure that everything works. Once you're happy with that, uh, it comes the driver installation. Now I use ProSim on my, on my cockpit. So I have to make sure that, uh, the, um, that my throttle is also recognized by ProSim. Um, just a little bit more playing, sorry about that. Um, basically what you need to do you need to install you need to go to a website and download a couple of files make sure you download both files one is the driver and one is the library and that you install both of them this information should be given to you from wherever place is that you buy the uh, the throttle from once you install both of them 
uh, you'll see that uh, uh, you're going to prosim you'll go to the mcp configuration file not the main server just yet the main module you go to the mcp you right click you get a menu you go to the configuration uh, and then you um and then you install you you put the right ip address again the ip address is given to you uh, once that is done you go to the main module and you just do the calibration the calibration there is really very little to explain it's so easy to do you basically need to ca calibrate the throttle handle the reverse the flaps the speed brakes because as you can see speed brakes has the down armed uh, flight detent and up position and whereas there to cal calibrate I think that's uh, that's pretty much it uh, but you you'll see when you're in process so for for the rest again I am really happy would I recommend this to anyone else well I've had this for a uh, couple of weeks I flew with it uh, a total of seven eight maybe ten times and yes I would totally recommend this to to anybody uh, it doesn't use Seahawk I am totally okay I'm not against Seahawk I think open cockpit equipment is really is really good uh, they make they make great products I'm just not willing from a personal decision to start learning and playing and fool around with the Seahawk scripts uh, so for me most of the things had to be relatively plug-and-play uh, just like this one and at this price for this quality I'm extremely happy and I would recommend this to anyone else so I'm going to leave you with uh, a little bit of footage of things how it works um, I hope you like it and if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe thanks again bye